Horish, the Lancashire Yorkshire engine, was enjoying his new lease of life. He was popular with all the engines and he proved he could work just as hard as the younger engines could. He was extremely thankful of the other engines who went on strike to save him from being scrapped. Now Horwich wanted to thank them in his own special way. He had a plan, but he had to persuade his driver and fireman to the idea first. You want to do what? spluttered the driver. I want to go to crew, explained Horwich. It's all part of me big thank you to everyone. We understand that, but can't you just tell them you're grateful, said the fireman. But this is different. This will make them very happy. I've heard them talk about it for some time. Now seems like the right time to put everything into action. Very well, Horwich, conceded the driver. But getting to crew will be difficult. Oh, I made it to London from Lancashire, huffed Horwich. Yes, but you did that over a number of days. You want to do this in one go. Horwich considered the situation. We'll think of something, the driver pondered. Now we must get back to work. <laughs> Horwich arrived at Euston Station to collect his passengers. Jimmy was resting after shunting an express train for Arthur. Where's the express bound? asked Horwich innocently. It's going all the way to Glasgow, replied Jimmy. Arthur will change engines at Crewe. Did you hear that? whispered Horwich to his driver. Arthur gets taken off at Crew. Maybe he can take me. I think the station master, the shed master, and the railway board would have something to say about that. But it's the perfect opportunity. It won't work. Why not? Arthur's an express engine. There's no chance you'll be able to keep up with him, chuckled the driver, let alone arrive in one piece. Horwich dismissed the thought. But the reality of his driver's words soon dawned on him when Arthur backed down onto his train. Get in quickly, please, called Arthur. You'll be in Glasgow in no time at all. With a right of way given, Arthur whooshed away and was out of sight. Horwich agreed. It would be best to find another way of getting to Crewe. That evening, Horwich was pondering over his thoughts when John bustled in. I'm overworked, he complained. You should be thankful that you've got work to do at all. Not when it's like this. One of those newfangled 9S broke down and now I've got to take heavy goods trains in relays to Derby. Derby? Aye, Derby, all the way in the Midlands. I'll be running to the ground by the time British Railways finally sort out another engine to help me. John puffed crossly into the shed. Now there's an idea, smiled Horwich's driver. If you could help John with the goods to Derby, it's only an hour away from Crewe. We could easily find an excuse to get there. Perfect, exclaimed Horwich. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> The next morning in the yards, Horwich's crew offered up their engine services. The shedmaster and the yard foreman were not convinced. It's a long way for a tank engine, said the shedmaster. And he's an old passenger one at that, added the yard foreman. How do you know he'll deliver the goods on time? Horwich can make it. He has water scoops so doesn't need to stop, explained the driver. And Mr. Foreman, I know a good engine when I see one. He never fails to surprise me. He'll deliver the goods, come what may. The foreman reluctantly agreed. John leaves with the first goods at ten o'clock. The second half must leave by three o'clock. Make sure you're there. As the men parted, the shedmaster spoke to Horwich. I don't know what you're up to, Horwich, but I hope you know what you are doing. He turned and walked away. Well done, driver, cheered Orich. We're off to crew now. We're not there yet, old boy, said the driver. Let's finish our jobs quickly so you'll be ready by three. As Horwich hurried away, his conversation had caught the attention of Den. <laughs> Horwich had completed all of his jobs and was eager to prepare for his long journey north. Then there was trouble. Ivert was having problems keeping up steam. 
That meant his 1355 service was handed over to Horwich. But I've got a goods train to take, pleaded Horwich. A goods train, scoffed the station master. What a load of rubbish. But it's true, I've got to get to Derby. What are you going to Derby for? asked Jimmy. Uh, um, um, stuttered Horwich. No reason at all, interrupted the station master. Now get going. There was nothing Horwich could do, and he puffed sadly away. <laughs> By the time Horwich made it into the yards, all he could do was watch his freight train disappear behind another engine. Turns how they mended the 9F, said Dan. They wouldn't have needed you after all. But I needed to get to Derby, so you could get to crew and bring back Fred. Horwich paused. How did you know? I never miss a trick, grinned Dan. I've heard so much about him, sighed Orich. He's sorely missed by everyone. He seems very kind and wise. They saved me from being scrapped, so I thought I'd bring Fred back. How do you know they haven't scrapped Fred himself? Well, I don't. I guess I'll find out. If I ever get to crew. Den smiled. I don't really see eye to eye with you steam engines, but I have a deep respect for Fred. He is indeed kind and wise. He speaks to each and every engine with the same decency, no matter who they are. Even I agree it would be beneficial if Fred was to return. Horwich was impressed. That is why I took the liberty of separating these vans from the train. They are heading for Scotland. If you can get them as far as crew, another engine will take them on their goods, leaving you available to look for Fred. Horwich was surprised. Thank you, Denny cried. I can't believe you've done this. You really aren't half as bad as what William and John make you out to be. You're actually quite endearing. When you want to be. Den chuckled. <laughs> Just don't let them hear you say that. Soon Horwich was ready to depart with the vans. Take care, Horwich. Crew has changed considerably from what I've heard, advised Den. Thank you for your help, Den, replied Horwich. Tell no one why I've gone. Den agreed. The guard blew his whistle, and Horwich set out on his adventure to find Fred. <laughs>